Welcome to Nintendo K Channel, I am Danny. I hope you've been enjoying Super Smash Bros Ultimate for Nintendo Switch. With tons of stages and fighters to choose from, there is an insane amount of content packed into this game. In this episode, I'll be revealing a stage feature you may not have realized. If you have selected Moray Towers for battle, apparently there are two versions of this stage. One is the normal daytime version, which is the one you most likely have battled on, and it does show up most often. Alternatively, there is a Splatoon 2 inspired Splatfest version of Moray Towers which takes place at night with Judd and Little Judd dancing. I randomly encountered this stage and I was wondering if there's a way to select this version when desired rather than by chance. So I found out that Splatoon Moray Towers only appears when a specific music is playing in the background when battling. If you play Splatoon or Splatoon 2, you probably recognize these tracks as they are prominently heard during Splatfest. What you need to do is head into the stage selection screen, highlight Moray Towers, then press the Y button on the controller to head into the music track selection. Here you have a choice of 4 music tracks that would work, which includes Ink Me Up, Ebb and Flow, Acid Hues, or Muck Warfare. Select any of these tracks, pick your desired fighter, and start your match. Be aware this will work in Normal, Battlefield, Final Destination, and Training Mode. That's all there is to it and you'll be greeted with this alternate Moray Tower stage for you to battle on. If you found this episode helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more helpful videos like this coming your way. I am Danny from the Nintendo K channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.